This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com There are some really good types of activism that uh, I just haven't been able to get around to mentioning. I either haven't thought of them or I don't I haven't noticed if they're happening. But one thing I think deserves mention is some stuff that was done by a an activist who I guess had not moved to New Hampshire yet. Uh, and it really hit well on what I call the follow-up uh, cylinder and the you know humanitarian cylinder in the sense that it helps it's helping people. There was a guy who uh, he was a free stater and he outside New Hampshire he developed this thing called porkmail.com. So he looked at the situation. He said, "Well, I can't be in New Hampshire yet, but I can provide some sort of electronic support from outside New Hampshire." And I think that is one of the most useful things people can do when they're still outside. Pork mail allowed people. It was like mailtojail.com, except it uh, provided. Uh, it, you, they would they would send letters. You, you could send a letter to a prisoner from your computer, basically. And it, the difference between porkmail.com and mailtojail.com was that. Pork mail would send your letter to Ed or Elaine Brown or any of their supporters, which Mail to Jail eventually started refusing to do on sort of pacifistic grounds. But there are a thousand ways a person outside New Hampshire can pitch in electronically like that, and I found that to be very useful when I was in Texas. Most of my Texas-related activism was completely wasted, and I really didn't do very much, but I think it really counted what I did on the Internet to promote the Free State Project. Name. You're being trespassed. Your well, name. I'm trying to leave. Name. name and date of birth. You're still trespassing. What's your name? There was also this guy who uh, illustrated one of the events that had occurred in New Hampshire and, and was not, you know, fully videotaped. At least it was not videotaped from all angles. Well, there are a thousand other ways that you could pitch in electronically from outside the state before you move here. Oh, back to porkmail.com. They actually did, fa well, they failed to hit on the sustainability and revenue generating cylinder, and I think they really only lasted about nine months. But it was still a good idea, worthy of an uh, honorable mention. My body! My property! You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keen's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.